Yo guys, I'm Plays and welcome back to another video. So I'm be showing you guys how you can get a lobby bot in Fortnite. Now a lot of you guys have been asking this, like, oh, how did you get 420 XP boost or how did you get 999, etc. I'll be showing you guys that today. Now all this does require is a program or a software, or whatever called Node, Visual Studio Code. And the bot files now there are a few errors in the bot files just so that if you guys do want to just copy and paste it it's not going to work so that's not because like watch time or anything that's just because i don't want you guys going off and just pasting it and claiming it your own and stuff so it's just going to make it a little bit harder but i will be showing you how to fix all of them issues so if you did have any any issues with your code then make sure you do watch the whole video as i'll be explaining how to all right guys just before i start the video as well i do want to say if you are new to the channel make sure you do drop a sub and you do like the video as this video has been in the maker for a while i have been making sure the bot code's been perfect now this is only a basic bot tutorial this ain't a full bot tutorial so I may do another one another day with commands and stuff but at the moment this is just simply join with a skin it could be any single like any skin any CID same with EIDs back blings it could be anything but there will be no commands so if you guys do want commands in the bot make sure you do like this video and if Diddy gets to I don't know 400 likes then I will do a bot video with commands like exclamation mark skin and it will set to any skin you want now the first thing you guys do want to do is go in the description and download Visual Studio Code node and the bot now when you install node it will just be a little install file you just want to double click it i mean mine's already installed and you just want to go through the setup and once it is installed you should be able to type in node and in the bottom it should say node.js if that does happen for you that means it's good it does work now what i do is go into the bot files you want to extract it with winrush so there'll be a link to that as well and now you want to open the files now in here there will be a file called install packages you want to double click this and this will take a while and you just want it to install the packages all right guys now the packages have finished installing you can see there'll be a new folder called node modules and this will have the epic games client and the fortnite client so that is done so that is pretty much all you need to do there now you're going to notice if you try start the bot there is going to be a few issues so what you do want to do is right click this file go to open with and click visual studio code now this is going to open up this area here so if you scroll down here you can see this is pretty much all of the code for the bot now the first thing you do want to do is use your email and password so as you can see here you want to make a brand new account it really does not matter what you use and you want to just do that so i'm going to open up epic games now and quickly make a new account i'll be back with you when i have all right guys so now we have set that up you want to go to the email and type in whatever email you use so i'm pretty sure i use this email here you want to make sure you keep both things at the start one there and one there followed by the comma if you do remove it and now you type in whatever you did for the account so i'm just going to do what i did so i caught it one two three four you can log into this if you want i could not care really this is just a random account and now one thing we do need to do is fix any errors in this code so as you can see here we want to change this here to eg and then we want to put client so eg client down here we want to put party and then after the party we want to put build so it's party build id and scroll down a little bit more, this here does need to be invitation. There are little things here so you can find that. And then you also want to change this here from enable to accept like that. So now there's going to be no errors here. I'm going to put this a little bit lower like that. And put this one a little bit lower as well. It should be similar. I think they're quite the same but they're similar. So I'm going to save that. And now that is pretty much all you guys need to do. So you want to go up to file and do save. You can close this. So now you've done that, you can open this and click start, but if you want to make it look cool, you can kind of spread this out. We just did this, it honestly doesn't matter. So it's going to do some things, it's just going to start the client up, so you just want to give that a minute and let it start up. And now you guys can see, it did say Fortnite has been created or party. So that is pretty much all you need to do. Now you want to leave this open in the background, so you can just close this one out. Don't close it, leave it open, but just kind of tab it out. You can close this, and now you want to open up Epic Games and I'll run your Fortnite. So you want to go here, go to library and then run Fortnite, I'll be with you when I am in game. Alright guys, so now you are in game, you're going to want to add the person, and now it should have auto accept friend request on, so it should accept it. So you can go to add friends, now you can either add the email, or you can add the username if you can remember that. I'm pretty sure I did mine as Aquatic Bot version 1.0. I'm sure I did that as mine. So as you guys can see, it says sent friend request to Aquatic Bot, and now if you give it one more minute, it should say it has accepted. There you go, it's now your friend. So now we can come down here, click this, and I'll click invite to party. And as you guys can now see, it has added and now joined. So my skin does look like this just because obviously I did my recent video and we did it for Iconic as well. But as you can now also see, you can see the match XP is like a billion. The battle pass tier is like 999 million. This is pretty much the lobby bot, so you control your friends with this. Uh, one more thing I do want to show you as well. If you want to change the skin here, so as you can see for me it's the Iconic. Now you want to go back into Visual Studio Code, or you can use Notepad, up to you, or Notepad++ is probably the best. And as you guys can see down here, you have here CID31, 
and you can do this too. Now you want to replace the first one with whatever one you want it to, as well as this one. So for example, you would go onto a CID list, change this CID here to, for example, the CID for K-pop, and that's what it is now. So I know the space one. You want to replace that one, as well as this one, with the CID. So this CID here, and CID here. Same with the BID, so this is the back bling here. You want to do your new back bling here, as well as the new back bling here, so whatever you want to put there. So it'd be your back bling ID as well as this one here. And then once again, it's the same with the EIDs, and then you know the battle pass is down here. So that is pretty much all you have to do for your lobby bot. Uh, you can see here, yeah, join the game. Alright guys, if you do want to see it with commands, for example, you could whisper to an exclamation mark skin and the CID and it would swap to it, then make sure this video does get to 400 likes and I will make sure that we do get this on the next tutorial. I'm going to upload a few things in between this because I want to kind of let this one sink in and see how this video does do. If it doesn't do the best, then I might not do it. But apart from that guys, that is pretty much all you need to do. So like I said, if you are new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe and also like the video. And apart from that guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.